Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making an entire room out of mirrors, including the ceiling and the floor. Now in a previous video, I made the world's brightest room because I said that mirrors weren't very bright, but I still got a ton of comments saying they wanted to see what it would look like if I was in a room made completely out of mirrors. So I couldn't help myself. I bought the largest mirrors I could find and made a room out of it. Now the scariest part about this room is that it's made out of mirrors, which are made out of glass. And I had to make the ceiling out of glass and the floor out of glass. Okay, now the hardest part about this is gonna be the floor. Here's my floor mirror. So I've gotta make sure that everything is completely smooth on the bottom, there's no little rocks or anything that are gonna get under there and crack the mirror when I step on it. Now surprisingly, I have to avoid this crack right here. Surprisingly, you want it on something really hard, not something soft, because if it's soft, you'll step into it, it'll create a pressure point right there, the mirror will crack. So I want it on a completely flat, hard surface. Here's the test. Oh man, that's scary. And then I bought some large mirrors that have metal frames around them that will hopefully stop some flexing so that I can put them on the ceiling, all the walls, and the floor. Okay, we got one corner up. Can't avoid the corner. Always in the corner. Okay, we got wall number three on. Can't even tell what's a wall and what's not. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. So no roof yet, so that's why you can see the top of my garage. Let's keep adding the walls and see what this looks like. Okay, the room is now finished. Let's take a peek inside and see what this actually looks like. Okay, here we go. The room filled completely with mirrors. <laughs> that is a lot of mirrors. So here's the door. Step into it. The floor. That's the ceiling. <laughs> and the walls are somewhere in there. So it literally looks like I'm looking down to the outside of a building or something. And those are different floors right there. Let's zoom into one of the lower floors. Hey everyone, I'm down here. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my shoes, take my first step on it. Hope that it doesn't break. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> Didn't break. Oh, this is so crazy. <laughs> okay, so I still have the door open. Let's shut the door though and see what this looks like. Oh, that's not the door. That's weird. <laughs> this is the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is so weird. It's cool, even where you can see the edge of the mirrors, it actually continues my reflection below it. So it kind of looks like there's just a scaffolding in here. I've never been able to see so many angles of my own body. <laughs> well, okay, you ready for this? Here we go. Let's see what it looks like to drop something. Here we go. <laughs> this is so weird. I've never seen so many of me. Marching army. Now I've never actually seen a room that has mirrors on all sides, including the floor and ceiling. So I wanted to do a few tests in here today to see what happens. The first thing I wanna do that I know people will ask about is see how long it takes for the light to go out once I turn off my light. 
Will the reflection just keep going back and forth for a long time after the light's off, or will it just go completely dark? Okay, so I have my light here. It's gonna turn off in three, two, one. So why was there no delay when... Oh, hey buddy. So why was there no delay when I turned off the light? The reason is because of how fast the speed of light actually is. It's 300,000 meters per second. But you'll notice after only a few reflections, you start to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Let's see how many I can count. Looking down's a little easier. So I can count, count my fingers, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen reflections. So I can only get sixteen reflections before it gets either too small or too dim to see. And that's because mirrors only reflect around 95% of visible light. And so that means with each reflection, you're losing 5% of the light. So it doesn't take very many reflections until all of the light is absorbed. So for sure, before 300,000 reflections, you're gonna get to zero. So mirrors seem like they reflect a lot of light, but they actually don't. So what's hard about having a light in a room like this is that somehow the light always ends up in your eyes. So if you have a light hanging from the ceiling, no matter where you look, that light's gonna be shining in your eyes in some direction that you're looking. Okay, let's make it so we can see the beam a little bit here. Okay, let's go in there. See, what did I tell you? Science just isn't a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Okay, so here I am in my smoke-filled room. Now let's see what happens when I turn on my laser. Dim the light. So you can see one, after one, two, three, four, five reflections, the beam is only t almost too dim to see now. Okay, let's see the reflections here. It becomes a web of infinity. Now what's interesting about a room like this is you'd be tempted to call it an infinity room. But what's really interesting about this is that only the perimeter of the mirrors goes on forever, but the area of the mirrors doesn't go on forever. It's actually finite. This is the same mathematical phenomenon called Gabriel's horn. And this is a shape where the volume is finite, but the surface area is infinite. And that's actually what happens with reflections in a mirror. The area that is reflected is finite, but the perimeter of the mirror is infinite. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and also hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.